Very good evening and welcome to our evening prayer on this Monday, the 25th of July, 2022. Today we are celebrating the feast day of St. James the Apostle and uh, some words about him. James, often called the Great, was a Galilean fisherman who, with his brother John, was one of the first apostles called by Jesus to follow him. The two brothers were with Jesus at his transfiguration and with him again at the Garden of Gethsemane. They annoyed the other followers of Jesus by asking to sit on his left and the other on his right when he came into his glory. And they were present at the appearances of Christ after the resurrection. James was put to death by the sword on the order of Herod Agrippa, who hoped in vain that by disposing of the Christian leaders, he could stem the flow of those hearing the good news and becoming followers of the way. James's martyrdom is believed to have taken place in the year 44 AD. And so our evening prayer for the Feast of St. James. <clears throat> o God, make speed to save us, O Lord, make haste to help us. Blessed are you, Lord God, creator of day and night, to you be praise and glory for ever. As darkness falls, you renew your promise to reveal among us the light of your presence. By the light of Christ, your living word, dispel the darkness of our hearts, that we may walk as children of light and sing your praise throughout the world. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. And our hymn for this evening is Fight the Good Fight. Fight the good fight with all thy might. Christ is thy strength and Christ thy right. Lay hold on life, and it shall be thy joy and crown eternally. Run the straight race through God's good grace. Lift up thine eyes and seek his face. Life with its way before us lies. Christ is the path and Christ the prize. Cast care aside, lean on thy guide. His boundless mercy will provide. Trust and thy trusting soul shall prove. Christ is its life and Christ its love. Faint not nor fear, his arms are near. He changeth not and thou art dear. Only believe, and thou shalt see that Christ is all in all to thee. That this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As our evening prayer rises before you, O God, so may your mercy come down upon us to cleanse our hearts and set us free to sing your praise now and forever. Amen. And our psalm for this evening, Psalm 94. Lord God, to whom vengeance belongs, O God, to whom vengeance belongs, shine out in majesty. Rise, O judge of the earth, give the arrogant their just deserts. Lord, how long shall the wicked, how long shall the wicked triumph? How long shall the evildoers boast and pour out such impudent words? They crush your people, O Lord, and afflict your, in, your heritage. They murder the widow and the stranger, the orphans they put to death. And yet they, see, they say, the Lord will not see, neither shall the God of Jacob regard it. Consider, most stupid of people, you fools, when will you understand? He that planted the ear, shall he not hear? He that formed the eye, shall he not see? He who corrects the nations, shall he not punish? He who teaches the peoples, shall, does he lack knowledge? The Lord knows every human thought, that they are but a breath. Blessed are those whom you chasten, O Lord, whom you instruct from your law that you may give them rest in days of adversity until a pit is dug for the wicked. For the Lord will not fail his people, neither will he forsake his inheritance. For justice shall return to the righteous, and all that are true of heart shall follow it. 
who will rise up for me against the wicked, who will take my part against the evildoers. If the Lord had not helped me, my soul would soon have been put to silence. And when I said my foot has slipped, your loving kindness, O Lord, upheld me. In the multitude of cares that troubled my soul, you, your, your comforts have refreshed my soul. Will you have anything to do with the throne of wickedness, which fashions evil through its law? They gather together against the life of the righteous and condemn the innocent to death. But the Lord has become my stronghold and my God the rock of my trust. He will turn against them in their own wickedness and silence them through their malice. The Lord our God will put them to silence. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. The reading from the book of Jeremiah, chapter 26. At the beginning of the reign of King Jehoiakim, son of Josiah of Judah, the word of the Lord came to me. Thus says the Lord, stand in the court of the Lord's house and speak to all the cities of Judah that come to worship in the house of the Lord. Speak to them all the words that I command you. Do not hold back a word. It may be that they will listen, all of them, and will turn from their evil way, that I may change my mind about the disaster that I intend to bring upon them because of their evil doings. You shall say to them, Thus says the Lord, If you will not listen to me to walk in my law that I have set before you, and not heed, and to heed the words of my servants, the prophets whom I send to you urgently, though you have not heeded, then I will make this house like Shiloh, and I will make this city a curse for all the nations of the earth. The priests and the prophets and all the people heard Jeremiah speaking these words in the house of the Lord. And when Jeremiah had finished speaking all that the Lord had commanded him to speak to all the people, then the priests and the prophets and all the people laid hold of him, saying, You shall die. You have prophesied in the name of the Lord, saying, This house shall be like Shiloh, and this city shall be desolate without inhabitant. And all the people gathered around the house of Jeremiah, around Jeremiah in the house of the Lord. When the officials of Judah heard these things, they came up from the king's house to the house of the Lord and took their seat in the entry of the new gate to the house of the Lord. Then the priests and the prophets said to the officials and to all the people, This man deserves the sentence of death because he has prophesied against this city, as you have heard with your own ears. Then Jeremiah spoke to all the officials and all the people, saying, It is the Lord who sent me to prophesy against this house and this city all the words that you have heard. Now therefore amend your ways and your doings, and obey the voice of the Lord your God, and the Lord will change his mind about the disaster that he has pronounced against you. But as for me, here I am in your hands. Do with me as seems good and right to you, only know for certain that if you put me to death, you will be bringing innocent blood upon yourselves and upon this city and its inhabitants. For in truth the Lord sent me to you to speak all these words in your ears. Here ends the first reading. And our canticle. Christ was believed in throughout the world and taken up in glory. Christ Jesus was revealed in the flesh, vindicated in the spirit. He was seen by angels and proclaimed among the nations. Believed in throughout the world, he was taken up in glory. This will be manifest at the proper time by the blessed and only Sovereign who alone has immortality and dwells in unapproachable light. To the King of kings and Lord of lords be honour and eternal dominion. Amen. Christ was believed in throughout the world and taken up in glory. And a reading from St Mark's Gospel, chapter 1. Now after John was arrested, Jesus came to Galilee proclaiming the good news of God and saying, The time is fulfilled and the kingdom of God has come near. Repent and believe in the good news. As Jesus passed along the Sea of Galilee, he saw Simon and his brother Andrew casting a net into the lake, for they were fishermen. And Jesus said to them, Follow me, and I will make you fish for people. And immediately they left their nets and followed him. After he went a little farther, he saw James, son of Zebedee, and his brother John, who were in their met, 
who were in their boat mending the nets. Immediately he called them, and they left their brother Zebedee in the boat with the hired men, and they followed him. And our responsory, trust in the Lord with all your heart and be not wise in your own sight. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and be not wise in your own sight. In all your ways acknowledge him and he will make straight your paths. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and be not wise in your own sight. And the Magnificat. On the foundation stones of the heavenly city are written the names of the apostles of the Lamb. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Saviour. He has looked with favour on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm and has scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel to remember his promise of mercy, promise made to our ancestors, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. On the foundation stones of the heavenly city are written the names of the apostles of the Lamb. So we come to our prayers of intercession. As we pray for the church throughout the world, we pray especially today for the Anglican Diocese of Masindi Kitara in Uganda, for its Bishop George Kasangati in the Abercornwy Mission area, we pray for St David's Penryn Bay and the mission hub that's based there. So we pray for this diocese, we pray for the safe travel of Bishop Gregory and Clare and all the other bishops and spouses to Canterbury for the Lambeth Conference. And we pray for the Lambeth Conference as it begins in the next few days. We continue to pray for those who are in particular need of our prayers continuing to pray for the peace in the world, especially in Ukraine and in Eastern Europe. We continue to pray for those who are sick, for Louise, Gordon, Joshua, Roy, Barbara, Derek and Chris, and we remember the faithful departed, among them Charlotte. And so we bring our prayers to the throne of grace. Let us pray to the Lord. In faith we pray, we pray to you, our God, that the rest of this day may be holy, peaceful and full of your presence. In faith we pray, we pray to you, our God, that the work we have done today and the people we have met may bring us closer to you. In faith we pray, we pray to you, our God, that we may hear and respond to your call to justice and peace. In faith we pray, we pray to you, our God, that you will sustain the faith and hope of those who are lonely, oppressed and anxious. In faith we pray, we pray to you, our God, that you will strengthen us in your service and fill our hearts with longing for your kingdom. In faith we pray, we pray to you, our God. And our collect. Merciful God, whose holy apostle St James, leaving his father and all that he had, was obedient to the calling of your Son, Jesus Christ, and followed him even to death. Help us, forsaking the false attractions of the world, to be ready at all times to answer your call without delay. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit 
be with us all evermore. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Apologies for the noises off this evening and uh, I wish you a very good evening indeed. Thank you.